Of course, folks, so welcome back to another vlog of the Growing Brooklyn store. And in today's vlog, I've got a different one for you guys. We're going to be doing lots of things. I'm giving you guys basically an insight and a day in the life of what it's like owning a small Brooklyn store. We've got lots to get done. We've got some sets to part out. We've got some drawers to label. We've got some orders to pack, etc. And we're going to be doing it all in this video. So first of all, in the last video, I did start labeling these orange drawers and I did manage to put all the labels on. However, we did run out. So what I've done is obviously printed some more off. I'm going to cut them out and put them on these drawers right here. So that's the first task we've got to get done. And the main two sets we're going to be putting out in today's vlog is this Minecraft the End Arena, Lego set 21242. We're going to be parting this out. It is a very nice set. I got this for, I believe, 25% off on Amazon, um, but it may be 20% off right now. So may get some more, who knows, but it's going to be great to add some more pieces and lots onto the Brooklink store. And we have a bit of a bigger set here, which has a very nice lot of unique uh, pieces in, and it's the Lego set 21185, the Nether Bastion. So a very nice set indeed. Really happy to have picked it up. I really like parting out the Minecraft sets because they have a lot of really nice pieces in and they do really well on the Brecklink store. So we've got to get these two sets parted out in today's vlog. And also this box right here is a something I bought from the Lego store and I want to show you guys. So that's also going to be featured in this vlog. And also in this vlog, I'm going to be giving you guys some guides on how to use Brecklink for those who are starting a Brecklink store. Um, or are looking to in the future or currently have one. So anyone that has any problems with starting a Bricklink store, has any questions, let me know in the comments section below and I'll make sure to answer them. But I think the first thing we're gonna do is probably pack some orders, get these drawers labeled, and then maybe show what's in this box right here and then part out the sets and we should be good to go. So let's get straight to it. All right, guys, so a viewer of the channel, Nigel, has decided to place an order on my Brooklink store, and he's buying some pieces for his granddaughter. He says my YouTube vlogs are well presented, and thank you so much for the support, Nigel. I've seen you in my comment section quite a few times now. So what we're gonna do is get your order packed right now. So let's go over and grab a padded envelope right here. Lovely stuff, and I don't wanna leak your address, so there we go. And what I'm going to do th differently this time is basically just pull out the drawers and get them all out and then we'll take the pieces out. So let's get off drawer 0241. That's going to be on the other side of the table. Uh, there it is. Lovely stuff. So we'll grab that drawer and put that right there. Um, drawer 35 and 45. So that's going to be down here. So uh, here we go. So that's those two pieces right there. But we'll just grab the drawer out for now and draw 45 is this big one right here and there will be some of those blue pieces. Lovely stuff. Okay, so uh, draw 158 and draw 34. So draw 158, I believe it's down here. There it is. Having to look through the camera, it's pretty difficult. Oh, don't wanna drop any of the drawers. Let's put that one back in there. Uh, draw 34 and draw 70. So draw 34 is actually going to be over here. There we go. And draw 70 is also right here. Lots of those orange pieces. You'll have to see it. I think he's ordering eight of those. Yep, eight of those orange arch pieces. Draw 153, which is also down here, right above the other one. And we've got... Draw 0225. I believe that might be on this side. Uh, yep. It's just down here. I don't know if you could see that, but going to be a lot of those orange pieces. And then all we got to do is grab one, some of the bunnies from the accessory drawer. So that's all the way up here in this first drawer right here. Lovely stuff. Right. All of these drawers have all of the pieces in. I'm actually gonna go grab a business card, actually. Let's grab one of those. We can't forget them. Of course, you love to see it. Very nice indeed. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is basically take all of these pieces that are from this order out of their drawers, 
and then I am going to be putting them all individually into grip seal bags and this is only one or two of some of the same pieces just to prevent loads and loads of grip seal bags being used. But yeah, so this is a really good size order. I'm really happy to have got it. And thank you again, Nigel, for purchasing an order from my store. So let's get into putting all of these pieces into their grip sealed bags. Of course, folks, so I am back. I have now got all of the pieces individually packed in their grip sealed bags. Made sure to double check that all of the pieces were there because I don't want to be sending stuff that don't have a... Uh, all of the pieces in because I've seen a lot of reviews where people have just forgotten just a single piece and it can be very annoying. So I make sure to double check all of the orders that I get uh, just to make sure that none of my buyers are very upset when they get their orders. So thank you again, Nigel, for purchasing this order. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. And I've got the weighing scales out now because I am going to obviously have to put all of the pieces into this padded envelope and then get it weighed, print off the label, and then I'll be taking it to the post office this afternoon. So what I do with these drawers then when they have space in, we're going to grab this one right here, drawer 34. We're going to turn it around and then let's find the slot. There it is. And what I do is basically put it in backwards so I know that there is space in it and that I can always reuse it and just put pieces in. It just makes it a lot easier to fill up the store with pieces. So like I said, I'm going to put all of the pieces into the padded envelope. I'm going to put all these drawers away and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so I've now got the order fully packed up and weighed. The label is on the other side and I did actually have to swap the padded envelope because the other one was just a bit too small and I don't want it really, really cramped. But I've now got that order fully packed and my largest order has just come through again but this is for 39 lots an awful lot of pieces i think it's 129 overall i mean just look at all of these pieces goodness me two minifigures as well so what we're going to do is actually i'm going to go and grab the minifigures first um, and now I'm going to grab all of the pieces in the drawers off camera because that's going to take too long to put in the video. So we've got M16 and M1. So let's grab those. And then I'm obviously going to just show me putting them in the grip seal bags, etc. So this is the female one. So let's check the head. That's the male. And there's the female right there. So they're M16 and we've got M1, which is CMF minifigure, which I've been trying to sell for ages has all the accessories with it, which is very nice indeed. So let's grab these. And then what I'm gonna do is obviously grab all of the drawers and all of the pieces, get them all in their grip seal bags, and I'll show you guys once all of those are packed. And then I'll decide whether to use a big padded envelope or maybe just use a parcel because I don't want everything to get really, really cramped. But I mean, we'll soon see. But yeah, look at all of these pieces, goodness me. Some of these long pieces as well. You love to see it, a great order. So I'm gonna basically get all of these pieces, put into grip seal bags, and then I'm gonna pack it, and I'll show you guys once I've done that. And finally, I've got all of the pieces from this 129 piece order put into some grip sealed bags. I mean, it is a great order. Lots of pieces, especially lots of light bluish gray. We've got some dark gray there, some cool panels there. Obviously they've got the two minifigures. I mean, the Scout Trooper minifigure is a really nice minifigure from the Hoth Battle Pack. Um, and then some colorful pieces there. You've got some little mugs down there as well. Just an amazing order. And it shows how much the store is growing to be getting these large lot orders. I'm really happy to have packed this order. It did take a lot of time though. I mean, you've got some of these cool zip line things here as well. So a great order. I'm really happy to have got it on my store. So what I'm gonna do is basically see whether it can fit all in the padded envelope or the parcel. I'm sure I'm gonna be able to fit it all in there because what I'm gonna do is basically tape the grip seal bags together, like just like in these intersections right there because then it makes it so they don't stack up at the bottom of the padded envelope because if there's so many at the bottom of the envelope, it might go over the limit and I don't want that. So basically, gonna get that all worked out. I did that with my last order as well and it worked really well. So hopefully gonna get all of this packed up now and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so after an awful lot of time using my incredible amount of genius and IQ, I have my business card right there, we won't actually have to use the parcel right here. And also, we did have to use some double-sided tape to make this fit. But let me show you the inside. As you can see, lots of the grip-sealed bags aren't all 
bagged up and stacked at the bottom. Let me just hold it up and show you. So it all just stays in place, which is brilliant. And it just makes it so I won't actually have to charge the buyer more postage because sometimes when it all builds up at the bottom, it can go over the size limit for the large letters. So really happy to have sorted this out. I was basically doing so much arts and crafts just to basically get all of this to work, but I'm really happy. So I basically got to weigh it, print off the label, and we should be good to go to take it to the post office with the other parcel right there. So really happy. And I just can't wait to keep getting these large orders. And I am now realizing, okay, so if I do get a large order, I may actually have to be ready to charge them for the price of a parcel. But I'm really happy I've been able to fit this all into a large letter. So all we gotta do is chuck the business card in there, get the label printed off, put it on, and we should be good to go. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so I did get this parcel from the Lego store online. And I, it was, I didn't spend a lot, but I'm just really happy to have picked especially one of the items up. And they are very difficult to get on the Lego store because they sell out really, really quickly. But I did get a small thing on the side as well. So I guess you can already see. We'll start with this thing first. We got a Disney 100 minifigure CMF. I'm gonna probably open this in this video as well. That'll probably be in the next clip. But the main thing that I got from the Lego online store, and as soon as it, I got notified that it was in stock, I made sure to buy one, and it is a clone commander station, I believe it is. And it is a very nice um, little battle pack. It comes with two um, normal clone troopers and then one of the commanders but it is a very nice um, little battle pack. And these are already selling on eBay for around 20 pound. And you get them from the Lego store online for I believe 30% um, off. So it's around nine pound 44 or something. I'll put a screenshot of what it's like on the Lego store, but they are very hard to find. They barely ever come back in stock and I'm really happy to have picked one up. So that is gonna be great. And I'm, that's gonna probably be an investment or maybe when I decide to build my Geonosis mock, I might take the minifigures out, um, but who knows, we'll see. But it's very happy to have picked one of these up. And what I'm gonna do now is start opening this little Disney 100 minifigure and see what I get. So let's get into that little clip. All right guys, so after opening the Disney 100 CMF minifigure packet, we got Princess Tiana according to whatever is online. And I don't really think this is one of the best minifigures in the collection. I think one of the best is uh, maybe like Prince John or Baymax, they're some of the cooler ones. But I mean, this isn't a bad minifigure. It comes with a very nice little frog. And the hairpiece comes with a hole in so you can put the crown in. You get an extra one as well with it in the, um, in the packet right there and it just fits in the hairpiece but i mean one of the main things i like about these uh disney 100 cmf packets are this uh little plaque here to hold the stat the uh the minifigure on a little stand there has a very nice bit of text there disney 100 very nice indeed and also princess tiana came with this little poster thing here as well tiana's place very nice indeed i mean it's good to add to the collection i'm hopefully going to collect all of them let me grab the uh the list right here which has all of them on so some of my favorites are probably Robin Hood. You've got Prince John the Lion, Baymax as well. I mean, yeah, but I hopefully want to collect them all anyway. So it's not too bad to have got a, um, but obviously they are very hard to find unless you buy them from the Lego store online. I haven't found them anywhere else, but hopefully you are, we are going to fully collect them all. So I'll make sure to keep you guys with some updates on if I get any more. But yeah, so really happy to have picked it up though. It is very nice. I mean, it was mainly just to add to the purchase of the little clone battle pack here but i mean still very nice so let's move on to the next clip all right guys so one of the first guides that i want to give those who like to use bricklink a lot especially if you are start looking to start a bricklink store or if you currently own one if you want to get a good part out value you've got to make sure you know so i mean i look to at least get two or three times the part out value for all the sets that i buy so i make sure all of the pieces that i sell i am making profit of so i'm guaranteed profit whenever i sell any of the pieces so what you want to do is obviously once you've loaded up loaded up bricklink you want to go onto the market bit right here and then you can see price guide so you want to click on that 
and then it comes up with this little panel section right here. So you've got view price guide info. We don't want to go in that section yet. We won't need to for now, but you want to go on part out value. So as you can see, it says item type. You can go on mini figure, gear, so you can part out the mini figure or any of the gear pieces, but we're going to go with set for now. And I mean, let me move it closer a little bit. We've got the item number, so we can put any set in. So let's see, let's grab the uh, battle pack set right here. So 40558. So that's the item number. We've got the set number right there. We've got quantity of one, and we're gonna be keeping the minifigures whole. You can choose whether to part out the minifigures or not with the set, but we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna remove the instructions. We want obviously new pieces, and we're gonna have extra parts as well. So we're going to get the value and it should, there we go. So as you can see, it shows the average of last six month sales. So it is a very good, um, over two times the value for the price that I bought it for because of the mini figures, especially And I currently have three pound and one pence worth of the pieces in this set that I already have in my Brooklink inventory. So you really do want to at least get two times the part out value on any of the sets that you part out, unless you are just looking to add a range of lots to your store. But I mean, especially when you're buying new sealed sets, make sure to get a good discount and check the price guide value. So you can see how many new lots you're going to be adding or just how many lots are in the set. So this is just a small little guide so if you are looking to start a Brickling store make sure you do this with any of the sets that you buy especially before you buy them just to double check if you are going to be parting them out of course folks so we are back i've now got all of the drawers fully labeled now so that's going to be very good for when we're parting out this first minecraft set we're going to be starting off with the end arena set so i've got the bags out two big bags i think there's a couple of small ones within these big ones but you know what? we're gonna get straight into it and i'll see you guys when we're around midway through putting this all onto brick store so quick update i am now just getting these last few smaller bits into all of the drawers i mean i'm hopefully just gonna have to use these drawers which then means i've only had to use two of the rows of this brand new set of orange drawers which is going to be great and i'm obviously going to be going through my store and finding those empty drawers which have space so i can maximize the amount of space in my store so we have the mini figures disassembled in their ziploc bags right there we've got the enderman coming along together so yeah so gonna get these last few pieces into their drawers and then we're gonna upload this all onto Brecklink. All right guys, so let's upload the file, Command V, lovely stuff. Let's consolidate lots by using new price and new tier pricing, new remarks, and then we should be good to go. So let's verify the file and see how many lots we are adding. Well, look at this, lots of pieces were actually added to this, which I'm really happy about. I mean, 36 pound and 30 pence worth of pieces. It was 99 unique lots in this set. Not sure many ha how many we're adding, but we can find out. So first of all, let's upload the file. And what we do is go to my store. And as you can see, 58 new lots from the nether end set. So I'm very happy. So what I'm gonna do now is put all these drawers away and I'm probably gonna take a break I'm going to pack an order, which is going to be featured in the next vlog, so make sure to be ready for that. But yeah, so I'm going to put these drawers away, and then we're going to probably start off with the other Minecraft sets. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I'm back now, guys. It is currently almost 10 past 7 in the evening, and let's see how long it takes us to get this set fully parted out. Three bags. I think it comes with mini bags inside of them, and I mean... This big piece will probably go in one of these bigger drawers in here or something. We'll see if there's space, like maybe there. What we do is chuck it in, and there we go. So that's there. And then we just got to do the rest of these pieces. I've got the drawers out ready. Hopefully, we won't have to use many rows of drawers, but then we'll see how it goes. So let's get straight into it. Of course, folks. So currently, the time is 
It has just gone half past seven, and all we've got to do is these last few small pieces, especially lots of these smaller ones. Um, but lots of these pieces already had drawers, which is really good, but there are, be, there are gonna be a good amount of brand new lots, which we're gonna be adding into the store from this set. So I'm really excited, and it's gonna be great for when I part out future Minecraft sets, because they already have pieces ready for drawers, but I think we won't actually have to use the rest of these drawers. I mean, who knows? I've been properly filling up the drawers that I already have. So yeah. Let's get on with these final few pieces. The remarks are coming along very well on Brick Store. So yeah, let's get on with finishing these last few pieces and getting it all on to Brick Store. <laughs> and finally, after lots of time, we have finally got all of the pieces assigned to their drawers. I mean, we have the minifigures disassembled in their Ziploc bags as usual, but I'm really happy with how many new pieces we are adding onto the store. The progress we are making is amazing. New lots, more pieces, this is brilliant. So let's have a look at Brick Store. All of the pieces now have their remarks on Brick Store. So what we've got to do is find out the total price and we should be able to make a file and upload it to Bricklink. So we're going to get that done. And it's currently almost 5 to 8 p.m. in the evening. And what I've got to do is obviously edit the video, render the video and upload it onto YouTube. So it's a great quality for tomorrow's upload. So I'm going to get that done after I've uploaded all of these pieces onto Bricklink, which we're going to be doing first. And then we should be good to go to roll on to doing the outro. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so file successfully processed. We managed to add 59 new lots into our store. Let's go on the store inventory and see how many pieces we are on now. We are at 6,832 pieces. We have now reached over 1,500 lots, which is brilliant. We are almost at a £1,000 original price for our total store inventory, which is brilliant. I mean, we're so close to those 7,000 pieces in our store. We're probably going to focus on getting that goal in the next vlog. So what I've got to do is put these drawers away and we should be good to do the outro. So let's get to it. Of course, folks. So it's been a great day of adding pieces onto the Bricklink store. I'm really happy with how much progress we are making with the Bricklink store. I mean, we are almost at 7,000 pieces on the Bricklink store where I'm going to make sure we hit that goal in the next vlog when we part out more sets, which will most likely be this weekend I'm hoping to get it out for. And also we have hit another goal of 1,500 lots on the Bricklink store, which is amazing. And I can't wait to keep bringing you guys on this journey with me and to keep progressing and making this a really big Bricklink store. And also make sure to let me know if you like this longer video format. Do you like the longer videos? Do you like these day in the lives where I'm showing you lots of different things? Let me know in the comment section below if you like me packing the orders, uh, parting out sets, labeling, etc. which is your favorite part. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys so much for the recent support and feedback to help me with my YouTube channel. It is amazing. We're almost at 600 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. It truly means the world to me. And also, if you do manage to place a Brickling order on my Brickling store, add a little note saying you're from the YouTube video and I'll make sure to feature you in the next vlog and give you a little verbal thank you and a little shout out, etc., etc. And yes, so please make sure to like, subscribe comment down below any tips tricks feedbacks etc to help me grow this bricklink store and also if you have any questions with how to start a bricklink store if you want any guides etc like the one i showed in this vlog let me know in the comment section below and i'll make sure to show it in my next vlog and i'm hoping also members of the community will also let you know any advice that you are asking for um, but i obviously will give you as much advice as i can and yes so thank you guys so much again also, all of the orders that have been given from my Brecklink store. I can't thank you guys enough for ordering from my Brecklink store. And I'm really grateful for all of the support. And I'll make sure to see you guys in the next vlog. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Turn on that notification bell to be ready for the next vlog. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Goodbye, folks.